Hey there and welcome to another edition of Coatsense Workshop. In today's video I'm going to be covering how to install my CDR muzzle onto a spear gun. I've had a lot of requests on, uh, on a video on how to actually do the installation. It's really simple, I'll cover everything from what tools you need and how to do it. So sit back, relax, this is going to be good. On the tool side all you're going to need is a power drill of some sort, three drills, a 5mm, a 4mm or 4.2 is better and a 3mm drill bit. You'll need two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver, some silicone paste, masking tape and you're good to go. In your muzzle kit you'll get a complete muzzle, fully assembled. You'll get your rubber lug system including four hooks, rubber hooks, and I will cover those when I make up the rubbers, a line guard with a plastic insert, and a screw. Your CDR muzzle is designed to fit a standard Rob Allen um, barrel. It's uh, cut at 26.5 mils exactly, so it is a very snug fit. It needs to be, it can't be loose at all. But that does mean if you are putting it into an old barrel, for example, like this one here, um, sometimes there are problems with it going in and that just be could be because your barrel is dirty, has some uh, leftover anodized aluminium in it or an old um, carbon barrel with some glue in it. Make sure your barrel's clean on the inside. I wouldn't sand down the inside of a carbon barrel at all. Um, you don't want to compromise the strength. It's better to take this down incrementally until it fits really snug inside the barrel. You don't want any play. Um, the easiest thing to do is just to take some rough or coarse sandpaper, um, 60 or 80 grits fine. Take an edge where it's nice and straight because you want to bring it right up to the edge of that um, the muzzle. You can just wrap it around your hand and take off a, a few mils like this. In your hand this works well or alternatively you can put it into a vice grip clamping onto across the axles so that there's uh, you don't uh, damage anything that's really strong if you clamp it across the the axles and you take a strip of your sandpaper and and just work it down Once you've made sure that your muzzle fits into your barrel nice and snug, it must be tight. You really want it to stay in that position. Line up the, the rail of the barrel with the muzzle. It should be 100% perfect as the rail and the muzzle is designed exactly to the same spec. It should be the same height and fit perfectly. Okay, once you've got your muzzle lined up on your rail of your barrel, it's time to put your line guard on and um, with your screw. This is where you're going to use your little plastic insert. This little chap over here. Right. Okay. Um, that's because your carbon barrel is conductive and you need to put a barrier between your screw and the carbon barrel to stop it rusting. Okay, so this line guard has to be put in the, in the correct position. To position it, take a piece of masking tape, tape that at the end of the muzzle and using something to measure with, I'm just using calipers, measure off two centimeters back from the top of the muzzle and draw a line. So that's what we have there. Okay. It's really simple, all you do is you line up your line guard to be perfectly in, in the center running down the middle of your muzzle. Use these two lines over here to, to line it up and uh, once you've got that perfectly lined up, just draw in a circle in the hole so you've got a, a hole to line up on and that should be in the middle down this rail. So now take your three mole drill bits and drill a pilot hole exactly on that mark that you've made. Now 
Don't worry about if you go too deep because uh, three mil is perfect for your screw to still have lots of bite on it. Your screws in excess of uh, three mils. Now you need to drill a five mil hole through the carbon barrel for your plastic insert. Okay, that hole only needs to go in a few mils pass through the, the carbon barrel enough for your insert to go all the way in. Take your uh, five mil drill bit and with um, some masking tape just um, tape off about three or four mils so you don't go too deep. All right, and you just want to ever so carefully, you want to just go through the carbon barrel. I'm not putting any pressure on this. You can just take your insert and check that it fits nicely. There we go, it fits perfectly. Right, now, silicone gel or silicone paste. You put this in, this just forms another barrier into the carbon so that the carbon doesn't uh, react with the metal. So you put that in there, even put some silicone gel into the inside of the inserts. Take your line guard, place your line guard on top, you insert through the line guard into the barrel. Phillips screwdriver. There you go, job done. Okay, so there you have it. It's all lined up perfectly down the muzzle and the rails lined up. So we've got the muzzle on. Now let's get the handle on. That's really simple. Nice thing about all Rob Allen components is that everything just fits. So that just goes in there. And if you need to bang it in, take, if you need to bang it in, just to install the anchor points um, on the muzzle, you'll need your formal drill bits. Um, Make sure that you drill those in the center because these little mushrooms are going to go inside the recessed area on the handle. So just make sure those are nicely lined up and straight. Now that you've got your formal hole drilled through the handle of the gun, um, I just stick it in a vice grip, makes it a bit easier just to handle everything. Take Again, take your silicone jelly or paste. I like to just uh, put a little bit in each of the holes so that it comes in contact with the carbon barrel. And I just grease this stainless steel Thread a bar up, slide that in. Now, the positioning of these is quite important. You want the back loop or hole to be on the top 
So it's in that position. Give it a few turns. And on the same on the other side, this is on top. Take your flathead screwdriver and tighten them up. You don't want to over tighten these to the point where you start hearing your barrel crack but you're going to have to tighten them really hard for that to happen. You want them just to be where this, where these are, um, you can just move them because you're going to pull them up to get the rubber hooks in when they're in position. So there you have it. CDR muzzle installed, ready to go. Now all you need to do is do the rubbers. So let's have a look at how to tie up the rubbers and get that done. Okay, so inserting these into your rubber is really simple. You just need a set of long nose pliers, grip it really tight, moisten that with uh, some water or saliva, push it in as deep as you can go. And then just open up the pliers and it pops out. You'll see the knots down here somewhere. Um, I like to tie a knot on the end of my line. Um, just gives me something to really grip onto, nice and tight. Um, I know there's loads of um, tutorials out there on how to tie rubbers. I just do the crossover, come around in the V, out the V story. Remember to keep these nice and short. You don't want too much rubber sticking out. Get really nice and close over here. Then grab uh, crimping pliers and haul on this as hard as you can. And the morph. Pull that nice and tight. I haven't had one come out yet, so that really works well. Put these rubber hooks in. It's really simple. Just wet the rubber a little bit, push them in, cross over, round the back, and then through the gap. and keep it nice and close to the edge there. Now that you've got these tied up, let's go over to the grinder and just take off this little flare. It just helps it um, come off the, the muzzle easier. You don't have to take this off. Um, it's not critical. I just like to take it off as it uh, kind of slides off the muzzle easier when you're loading. Let's go check it out.
Now that you've got your bands all tied up um, with your rubber hooks on both ends, let's get it into a gun. They just slide into the muzzle nice and easy. Just get that through there. and neat All right and then to load them up it's really simple you take the two front ones okay coming out the front big rollers over there two front ones and you put them into the front hooks over here Just go like that. There. And then the two back ones. They go into the back. Like that. And there you have it. Super, super neat. Look at that. Super neat. Bands are just parallel. Everything fits onto the gun so well. Um, this is by far the best way and the nice thing about this is there's a clear line here space for the line to, to go and nothing can hook on here um, no line can hook on that that's um, one of the big things and, and these rubbers never jump off and uh, you can see over here on the muzzle let's just get the focus good you can see here where the, the short lines um, six centimeters these rubbers come to um, they end at the top of these rollers which is perfect so you're never having to pull them around the roller when you're loading and your handles are nice and uh, nice and soft it's really good cool okay so that's how you build up a CDR onto a Rob Allen barrel and handle Hey, if you want to buy one of these double rollers, go and check out the link below. Um, going over to my website, coatsmans.com. Um, you can buy them online with the new system. I'll put that up shortly. And uh, it's delivered via DHL. It only takes about a week or so. And you'll be able to convert your standard Rob Allen into a double roller, which is just kick ass. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been really helpful. Um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please just drop them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them and uh, maybe even do another video if I need to. Um, but yeah, super simple. And uh, yeah, look forward to hearing stories of big fish with, uh, with these guns. Good stuff. Cheers.